I like to watch like some of our guys that play in the NBA, Chris and Keegan a lot. Yeah. Whenever they're on. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's any a, form. That's got to be super fun being able to see those guys for sure. play at that level. Yeah. You, I'm assuming you guys stay in contact as much as you can with them. Is there as they've been able to reach out to you guys and mm -hmm. what are those co conversations like with your former teammates who are playing in the big leagues now? Yeah, I mean, I talked to Luca Garza probably the most out of all of those guys. I talked to him a very decent amount. Mm -hmm. um, I talked to Keegan and Chris. I actually was just texting with Chris today about something. So, no, no definitely stay in contact with them a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, always checking in, trying to, you know, just chop it up whenever. Uh, and it's always good when we see them, too. They'll mm -hmm. come back in the summers and stuff. So, excited for that. There you go. Yeah, whenever – I probably talk to Chris the most, and we just talk about whatever's going on in the PGA Tour. It's pretty much about <laughs> Continue it. Continue the golf talk. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll play golf video games together. That's about it. <laughs> we don't talk much good? basketball. Not much basketball. He's okay. He's okay. He's all right yeah. at golf. <laughs> That's all I'll give him. Your 69 score beats him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That type of feeling beats there. a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. That's super fun. Is there, like, your favorite story from those guys coming back in Iowa City? You say they come back in the summer – chop it up is there like a favorite story of when those guys come back do you i think the just the, at all? The, the quality time you get to spend with them you know because you don't spend as much time with them anymore obviously they've moved yeah. on to another stage of life so you don't see them as much and so you just like i, I would say that the best times we have are when we just reminisce about like you know all the times that we had together and all that kind of stuff like just sitting in, in a living room somewhere and just yeah. just bsing about all of the stuff we used to do and how funny it was and like <laughs> the crazy stuff that happened oh yeah so you know that that stuff is always hilarious and, and you know just like having time to really sit down and catch up and catch up on each other's lives and all that kind of stuff is, is really cool too um, yeah, we, it was like two days before I turned 21, but we went down to Vegas, me, Patrick, and Tony, yeah. and we, oh, for boy. the summer league, so we got to hang yeah. out with Luke and some of them, I had a great time with them, but, there you go. um, yeah, just, whenever we can, just getting to, just talk to the guys, I think that's the coolest thing. I bet Vegas with those guys is, was a good time. <laughs> they you show you around of, the place a lot a of big bit. names down there. A lot of yeah. big names. Shake a lot of celebrity hands. Uh, we saw them. I didn't you shake them. hands. <laughs> no introducing, no dap ups. I was yeah. in a section next to Michael Rubin and Joel Embiid. It was crazy. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> that sounds like a blast. No, it was fun. Got any more of those trips planned? Uh, those will come. But we'll, we'll probably go back out to Summer League, maybe. I don't know. It just yeah. depends. Who yeah. knows? See if you get the invite. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see.